AffPoint MyHub is a Microsoft Teams app that provides business users access to all of their AffPoint cloud governance functionality, including starting service requests and viewing all the workspaces that they own. MyHub also has some hub functionality built into it though, which provides tremendous functionality for your users to be able to organize their workspaces such as Teams, Yammer communities, and SharePoint sites. As a default, the hub functionality is not enabled for cloud governance customers, but it's very easy to turn on. Log on to MyHub as an administrator, and then over on the right, we're going to click on MyHub settings. On your cloud governance settings page, over on the left under settings, you can go to MyHub settings, or you can click MyHub settings right here on the homepage. On My Hub settings, change the slider to enable My Hub. Now below that, that will make available several other types of settings, including things like workspace provisioning and workspace discovery. In workspace provisioning, you control how users can create workspaces through the My Hub UI. If you leave it set to AffPoint Cloud Governance, then Cloud Governance service requests will be the method that's used. You could also switch it to native Microsoft 365 if you don't want your users to go through cloud governance service requests for provisioning. How do each of those appear? Well, once we've turned on my hub, I can now go back over to Teams and I have to essentially refresh it. So I can do that by clicking onto something besides my hub and then clicking right back in. When I go to the home tab, it will prompt me to again log in and that is your refresh. Once it loads, you will see there is a new Hubs tab up at the top, and there's also a new Create a Workspace button. This is the button we're concerned with right now. If I click Create a Workspace, you'll notice it takes the user over to the Start a Request tab, where they can see their various types of requests for cloud governance. If I go back over to the settings, click into workspace provisioning and change this to the native mode and save. Now, if we click create a workspace, you'll see we get a panel. The types of workspaces available include Microsoft 365 groups, Teams, and SharePoint sites. The user would be able to select any that they wanted, fill in the remainder of the options and click create to kick off the process to create that workspace. Again, though, if we want them to go through cloud governance to ensure that users are creating workspaces based around your policies, your service settings, then in that case, leave the default in place for AvPoint cloud governance. And as we saw, the create a workspace button will push them over to start the service requests. In addition to controlling how your users are creating their workspaces, we also have some tremendous new functionality on the Hubs tab, which we will take a look at in other videos. Thank you for watching this short video on how to enable the Hubs functionality and how to set what the Create a Workspace button does as an AvPoint Cloud Governance customer in MyHub.